Well, you said that it was a magnificent classic. I did. So that wasn't. I was just trying to help out people. <laughs> Like, yeah, they had a. It was a lot of challenges. Yeah, but congratulations, though. Thank you, thank you. I hope we get it right. Yeah, uh, next time. No, it won't be no next. Time. Coach Prime of the Jackson State Tigers saying he's not coming back to Lad. Now that comment came after Rob J, the assistant athletic director for Jackson State, and the school's play-by-play -play man shared what his experience was like for the big HBCU game against Alabama A&M. Nothing happened uh, during the game in the box or nothing this week. That is no. They word they put us in a stairwell to do the game. We were, we were broadcasting the game from a stairwell. A, a real stairwell. Yes, an emergency stairwell. The room we were supposed to have, they sold it out for a luxury room. So we were in a cold stairwell. Deion Sanders piggybacked, saying... Well, our lights went out in the locker room. And just the lights went out? That, yeah. And it was no hot water. We're told the power issues may have been due to a live DJ in the locker room. The interview has caught a lot of attention. It has more than 500 shares on Facebook, many of them coming from Mobilians. I was happy to see it. I was happy that someone else was willing to speak up and say that it's horrible. It's a horrible situation over there. It's just like they have the stadium over there and the city doesn't even care about it. I spoke with William Carroll, the council member representing the area where Ladd sits. Carroll says it was a great game and thinks the video is just a parody. Rob, the play-by-play -play guy, says it's not a parody, and yeah, they like to have fun with it, but says everything they said in the video is true. I did hear back from the Mobile Sports Authority. The executive director sent me this statement saying, quote, obviously this is worrisome. We're trying to get to the bottom of what he said. We have not had our post-event evaluation meeting, but believe Believe me, all of this will be addressed, and I believe all of Coach Prime's concerns will be addressed and rectified in the future. We look forward to making this right going forward for future Gulf Coast challenges. We also heard from the Gulf Coast Challenge within the hour. They tell us currently we are reviewing all feedback and processes for opportunities to better serve all stakeholders. Our team will effectively communicate all constructive feedback to both Lad People Stadium and the Mobile Police Department and work diligently to ensure better outcomes. Guys, I'll send it back to you. Now, folks, we have to remember one thing. This is just the beginning of the investigation. But from history looking on it, looking back at things that have happened that have been called out in the past, it's different when a man is not scared to lose his job. What you hear. When a man is not scared to be unemployed, the truths that come out. Coach Prime and Jackson State, they are the megaphone of the HBCUs. Coach Prime has said many times, I'm not doing this for the money, I'm doing it for the love. So they got this game, Gulf Coast Classic. And I'll be honest with you, before this whole thing happened, a lot of folks were complaining about putting that game over in Mobile, the Mad People Stadium. Nobody listened. They said, oh, Jack State gonna get paid to do it. No one listened. But now that the game's over, you see the disrespect that happened. You put the play-by-play -play team, according to photos and commentary, in a damn hallway. Now we know Jackson State has some water problems in Mississippi. So you made them feel like home and cost the hot water. <laughs> really? Then the lights didn't work. He said it was a DJ. So your light system was so bad, plugging in a radio blew the switch. People of the community even knew about it. They knew how bad the stadium was and no one said anything. We didn't hear anything last year when Batman and them went over there to have their first game. Nobody had the cojones to step up and say, hey look, this ain't right. 
Now, I know there's contract signed, and there has to be an out on every contract. Every contract you sign, it's like an NBA. When NBA players sign these big mega contracts with one team, and then all of a sudden they force their way out to a trade from another team. They have a built-in out in each contract. Depending on what the out is for Jackson State, depends on whether they'll play there again. Now, I know everybody's going to start complaining about, hey, look, you can't just sign a contract and leave. I get that. But if you're not holding up your end of the bargain, I'm not going to sit here and be your puppet. You take my AD and my play-by-play and put them in the hallway because you want to sell the room for a luxury suite? Come on, bruh. What are we saying? What are we on? It's taking Jackson State to go ahead and let these things be known about these contracts and about the what your school is worth. What's props, man? It's about time somebody stood up and said, we ain't gonna take this crap no more. I'm tired of folks saying, just bend over and take it. Sometimes you gotta say no. Coach Prime and Jackson State are letting the world know we ain't your punks no more. This is swag, baby. Coach Simmons, I'm out.